up, everybody? This is your boy, DJ Mix Master. Back to Soul Calibur 6. Last week. Backtracking, you know, doing a little side quest here. But in this video, I think we're going to get back to the trail and get back to the main story. But before we do that, though... I just picked up a few new things, and so I'm going to see, do I want to customize Axton a bit before we hit the road? So, I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, so, checked everything. Nah, nothing looked good, so we kept Axton as he was. Alright, so we're here at Tenon Information Gathering. Sir, the next Astral Fissure is located in a frugal semester's temple. Frugal semester's? From what Gro and the others had told me, they were a mad cult who worshipped a nefarious god called pa Pagea. They were both cruel and brutal and delighted in human sacrifice. If we charge in blindly, I predict we will encounter heavy resistance. Additionally, their temple is a veritable labyrinth. It will take time to locate the astral fissure once we are inside. What do you suggest we do, sir? Simple. We take a cultist hostage and get the information we need from them. Sir. According to Dion and Natalie's information, there were three cultists nearby. The first was a high priest living in the village up ahead. The second was a swordsman who once worked for the cult as a mercenary. The third was a merchant who transported goods for the cult. The high priest was known to be a talented martial artist and had an elite bodyguard on hand. The swordsman was alone, but a warrior of great repute. The merchant had scores of guards, but none were particularly noteworthy. Each would likely provide, uh, provide us with a different type of information. Let's see. The priest was a part of the cult. The swordsman was a mercenary. And the merchant just... You know, got stuff. So, we're going to target the High Priest. Asel, the High Priest. The higher up they are in the organization, the more accurate the information they must have. With that in mind, we attack the High Priest and his escort just outside the settlement. Conditions? Your opponents have increased defense. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. So we have Cervantes and then the Priest. Alright. We'll put that as the food. Let's get started. I heard that filthy rats were sniffing about our glorious temple, and you certainly look like rats to me. How dare this fool call me a rat? In the wall you go. Good. 
my honor. Be gone. This is it. Farewell. Hey, oh. Need help? We were able to obtain a sketched map of the grounds, complete with guard positions and the exact location of the astral fissure. We could not have done any better. We can use this information to formulate a plan. Sir. Almost leveled up. Alright, storming the temple. Our efforts helped us ascertain the location of the astral fissure in the Fugal Simensis Temple. I butchered that, whatever. Our plan is complete. Dion and Natalie slip in and cause a commotion. We will infiltrate the premises while they are distracted. Sir. We hit them tomorrow. Do not expect an easy ride. Prepare well. Sir. The sanctuary where evil lurks. Thanks to Dion and Natalie's distraction, we managed to successfully infiltrate the temple. However, the chaos inside seemed too widespread to have been caused by our diversion alone. It seemed we may not be the only intruders here today. <laughs> so how many enemies we have? Just two? One at level 23, another at level 20? I have no clue who they are. Let's have you, because I have no clue who I'll be facing. That way! Over there! Now! What's going on here? Who dares desecrate our temple? The gallery's on fire! Someone put it out! Quickly! Someone! Anyone! Report! What's happening? It, intruders! They're wreaking havoc! The fiends vanquished them! Gouge out their eyes! <coughs> oh man, excuse me. This is far too much chaos to have been caused by Dion and Natalie alone. Could he have gotten here before us? The astral fissure should be just ahead, but... Wait, hi, quickly. Do you see what I see? How dare you trespass in our sacred temple? You shall not leave here alive. Our God shall feast on your souls. Kill them! Kill them all! <laughs> Kill me! You can't even scratch me! With the new power given to me by Lord Aswell, it is I who will feast on your souls! You lot! Make a sweep of the surrounding area. See that no more worms crawl in. You got it? I knew it. We have to act now. Attack! We leaped out from the shadows, attracting the attention of Daniel and Valtro. Oh, I see you are unable to resist my beauty. Tell me, girl, why do you pursue Lord Aswell so doggedly? Because you were ordered to? Or to avenge Orazel and Curtis? Such a grotesque attitude. 
truly vile. I have no desire to converse with traitors. Stand aside, Daniel. These cultists are dead. These pigs are next. Red. Such beauty, such an observable allure. We cannot scorn this one, I think. Stand down, Valtro. I'm not done here yet. With the power Lord Aswell bestowed upon me, these maggots are dust. <laughs> Remember the plan. Only the ugly know not when to restrain themselves. Shut your mouth. I, uh, ah! The power swallows his mind. Hm. I'm left with no other choice. Daniel disappeared, leaving his companion behind. Valtro swung his weapon wildly around himself, his breathing ragged and his eyes filled with a mad bloodlust. There was no indication he was going to tire anytime soon. Leave this to me. You go on ahead and deal with the astral fissure. You think you can just leave? Your fight is with me. As Valtro and Gro clashed, I ran. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I ran for the astral fissure. The sounds of battle echoing behind me. in your body. All right. Cousin, the ultimate seed. By the time I arrived at the astral fissure, it had been destroyed. The man standing where it had been turned towards me and with a flourish gave a dramatic bow. It was as well. All right, your conditions. Let's see, your opponent's health and attack power have been increased, but their health depletes over time. Defeat them, okay? Experience could be good. Why not? Salutations! It's been far too long. If you're after the astral fissure, I'm afraid you're too late. <laughs> Bravo! How delightful! Just as I planned. No! It's even more sublime, magnifical, fantastic, with a magnificent miscalculation. I should say what? Yeah, whatever. I just need a few more astral fissures worth of power. My spine is tingling with excitement at the... Ah! 
Aswell stopped suddenly and a shield appeared in front of him, deflecting a surprise attack from the newest intruder in this temple. I see your power has grown significantly. I was wondering when we see Zoslamel again. Oh me! Oh my! What a silly fool! How dare you interrupt me mid-monologue! If I hadn't obtained the power from this astral fissure, I would have failed to detect your presence, and the curtain would have fallen too soon on my glorious performance. The resonance between the fragments of the cursed and spirit swords grows stronger. However, it is not yet strong enough to produce a sword. Such perceptiveness. You have a dangerous mind. The spear as well produced from thin air would have skewed Zosimo's body had he not evaded it. Very good! <laughs> You're right, you know. Bingo! Good job! Once I raise the fragments resonance to their limit, I will be able to create swords, both cursed and spirit, that match the power of the originals. And with those, you hope to produce another evil seed. Do you really wish to destroy the planet? Evil seed? How dare you use such an egregious mis misnomer? I call it the ultimate seed. The evil seed formed because the cursed sword gouged itself on the violent emotions brought about by chaos and war. That is why it had such a terrible effect on the humans I love so dearly. However, it also gave them phenomenal power. And that is where I had my epiphany. Perhaps people can be given this extraordinary power without losing their reason. By doing so, I can free them from the shackles of humanity's absurd destiny. The ultimate seed is formed when the energies created by the spirit and cursed swords are fused together. By pushing their power to the extreme, one can create something that far exceeds the evil seed. Once the ultimate seed covers the globe, the human race will evolve, allowing them to achieve eternal glory. Though it pains me that some will be unable to survive the seed's power, it will be for the greater good. Did you hear that, Axton? If he succeeds in creating the ultimate seed, many will die, including those whom you met on your journey. Stop him from taking any more astral fissures. From what he has revealed today, I must busy myself with another task. Leaving so soon, but I was enjoying our little discussion. Aswell summoned another blade and hurled it at Zoslamel, who casually deflected it before striding away. Such a pity he has no time to play. Then again, I must be on my... <sighs> Valtro hurtled through the entrance, followed shortly after by Grove. Aswell. Lord Aswell, you're safe. Excellent timing, my little Valti. I have something to ask of you. Anything for you. If everything is going according to plan, Daniel and the others should have almost destroyed the temple's foundations by now. You keep these simple fools busy here. Naturally, I would love to do it myself, but I have things to do. Places to be. No, but that means I'll... Hmm? So you choose to rebel, even though I was benevolent enough to offer you one last chance. N no! N not at all! Please ignore what I just, just, just said. You can, tr you can trust me. Very well. In that case, I shall give you the gift of even greater power. 
Aswell placed his left hand on Valtro. The man shuddered violently, then let out a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> Evil power exploded out from Valtro, whipping up a fierce wind. Adieu, my little Valti. Though dull of mine, you acted so human, and I shall miss that. Will escaped. Hmm. We shall meet again. The building shook violently, and with a rumble, the roof began to cave in. That is our cue to leave. No! Gasping, Valtra rose to his feet and pointed his weapon at us. Y you shall not leave your grave is here with me Valtro charged but Gro struck him down his wound should have been mortal but he rose to his feet and pointed his weapon at us once more not Done yet must make my lord proud. Valtro took a shaky step towards us and collapsed in a heap. Gro looked down at the fallen warrior for a moment, then turned away. It is done. He is too weak to stop us. No! I must stop you. I must. Ah. Valtro's screams were swallowed up by the crashing of falling masonry. Gro and I made our escape, dodging between chunks of falling debris. So, looks like one of Aswell's guys has been taken care of. Unfortunately, he managed to escape while capturing the Astral Fissure. We'll catch that snake. Anywho, with that, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, we'll continue on with the story. Like and comment on the video. 
subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.